Hey, what's up everybody? Um, sorry about the mic. Um, I'm recording on PlayStation 5 um, with my Still Series headset, so I'm sure the, the audio is not the best. Um, what this video is about to, uh, about to be about is basically a hard swapping. Um, there's a, there is videos on YouTube about hard swapping an Elden Ring, but most of them, they play Claw, and I don't play Claw. So I just wanted to give people an example of how you could build your inventory and how you could hard swap if you don't play Claw. And what I, how I like to reference it, it's the R2, L2 method. So I'm not using the D-pad, okay? Let me show you the build real quick before I, I talk, go any further. So it's just a level 200. There's nothing really special about it. Um, it's my, my strength build. The only what, what I did here, though, is I took a hit on some damage and dropped my strength from 80 to 70 and added <clears throat> 10 to endurance. So normally I would have 40, but I have 50 um, on this build. And that's because of this, okay? Now, since I don't play Claw, I... I really only want to swap on this square here, the Claymore square, the first one, because I don't want to use the D-pad in combat as, as as much as possible. Like I want us to avoid that. So I'm I'm gonna keep this on a soft swap and this on a soft swap, so I have enough endurance and and like I'm just light loading. I can literally with 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 50, I could I can wear heavy stuff comfortably, right? Like if you see there, I'm still medium rolling. So, I have plenty of, uh, of endurance to, to kind of do what I want. So, we're good there. Um, with that said, with that said like I said, I don't play Claw. So, I just kind of wanted to show an example of what hard swapping looks like for me. Okay, so, what you want to do is, you, of course, you want to set your inventory up how you want everybody knows this so I'm not gonna go into the order of acquisition um, so I have claymores up top and slender swords just something that I'm comfortable with um, I've seen people put shields many different things up here so you know build this how you want but you want to focus on R2 here okay and you want to if you're already on this row you want to stay in this row okay and so if you hit R2 it drops five 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 so this row I'm going to build, in my opinion, what's going to most benefit, benefit me if I swap to it. And as you can see here, Stormhawk Axe is going to be what I want to swap to, what I want to keep closest. So it's going to be the first R2. Okay. Let me show you that. So you can practice that as well too. And what you want to do is you want to get fast enough at swapping and not just on the first R2 because like I said, there's, there's several that you can do that in between attacks so basically like well you don't want to do that but you want to go in you want to be able to swap so okay now my second R2 I have the god scan okay you, this is my chase down so I have my my one shot potential closest because if somebody's chasing me I want to swap to that and then hit my actual war okay and now if I'm chasing somebody who's running from me then my second R2 is I have my chase down my third R2 is just uh, well this is my 25 claim more so I have my what I really want to swap to is here but I just have some like random shit over here and then next of course you want your range so I can just swap to this on the fly, you know, and pull my bow out, boom. I have my black knife here, that's if somebody has a little bit of health, they're light rolling, you, you know, you might be able to catch them with this. Oh, they're almost dead. Um, and recently I added some intelligence to my to this 200 build, just because I want the utility. So, what you want to do is, you want to utilize the bottom as well. Okay, because what you can do there is, I wouldn't even R2 all the way to the bottom. I would just actually take my thumb off the D-pad and hit up. And it's going to teleport you to the bottom. Boom. You're there. You're there. Right. And so that's a good swap because if you're on the claim, let's just say you're on the claim more. Boom, it's there. And now everybody knows uh, Starcaller, dude. Like, that's that's a good actual war, right? Um, so I can just literally swap to that. 
Okay. So let's uh, let's show you what it looks like in combat a little bit. I'm not warmed up yet, so I'm sure I'm gonna get hit here. But the point is, you, you want to have as much utility as possible, and you can build plenty of utility and not playing claw. Like, like I'll show you here. What's up? See, I took damage right there. But I got the swap off. There's another swap. Alright, and that's how I like to practice. Like, I like to... I don't like to... To hit with the same weapon twice. Only when I'm practicing my swapping, right? So, I'm just gonna keep swapping. In between attacks. I didn't... I shouldn't have uh, killed him there, because... <laughs> Um, yeah, well, let's, let's bring him back. But anyway, what you want to do is use this dude to practice. Um, you, or you could, if you're not comfortable using him, you can use uh, one of the dudes down there. But, oh my god, yeah, it's it's very good practice for uh, swapping for invasions and swapping in the Coliseum. Because if you can't swap on this dude, like if you can't get your swap off without him killing you, the goal is really not to take damage, period, in your swap. But, I'm not there yet. At least, I mean, I'm not saying I can't. I, you know, I always take damage. I'm just saying, you wanna, you wanna be able to attack these PVE enemies. Shit. Yeah. You wanna be able to do swap without taking damage in between attacks. And if you can do that, then, in theory, take it to PVP. Right? Do this fast enough. Um, the God skin is actually very overpowered to swap to because just look here. Okay. So I'm chasing somebody. They're running from me. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you the speed I can do it. Ready? Which is not bad for, you know, not playing Claw. Like I said, that's this R2 is right there. Now, notice I tried to focus on this line. Okay. Like I said, I don't want to use the D-pad. At least, not right up on somebody. So, but once I swap over there, then I have all these to play with. And then once I go to the left, again, I have this full line to play with. You see what I'm saying? So, get out there, you know, come here. This is a good spot to practice. If this is, you know, something you want to you wanna learn. I know that even before I learned this, I was winning 90% of my matches. Um, but now I'm winning my matches just differently. It's, it's, it's very fun to do. And, um, then sometimes like that, you make a mistake, you just die. But very, very overpowered. I think it's probably the best skill that I have in my repertoire for Elden Ring. But um, anyway, if you watch this video, thank you. Um, yeah, you guys have a good day and get out there and go practice.